Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Friends, in this video, we will discuss ADP 200ER, the Sony PlayStation power supply. We discussed first portion, that's, that is input filter and protection circuit. In next part, we discussed DC bus and rectifier circuit. Then we discussed PFC, power factor correction circuit. How it works? I discussed every portion in detail input filter and rectifier circuit power factor correction circuit and then I discussed 4.8 volt power supply and today we will discuss this push pull power supply for 12 volt 16 ampere I discussed every step in detail first here is input protection circuit and we discussed how this circuit is working and then after bridge rectifier we received voltage at this capacitor the normal rectified in normal condition it will give us approximately 320 volt 310 volt which is normal rectified on this voltage we take 4.8 volt at the output connector standby voltage and when we want to turn it on for secondary power for main power at that time we apply a power on command in that condition first of all it will turn on this power factor correction circuit what is that MOSFET rectifier PFC choke PFC controller and operation amplifier here to maintain the feedbacks and check the voltage here we have feedback for controlling we have optocouplers which communicate with the output section and first of all it will turn on the PFC and it will maintain approximately 400 volt 410 volt at this capacitor when this voltage will maintained after that our this push pull IC DDA001 IC will turn on through these two optocouplers and we will receive a power on command to this IC and it will switch on in push pull condition and it will drive this transformer and this transformer will switch and we will take voltage in the secondary AC voltage this circuit is much different than the other circuits because in the output stage it have also MOSFETs and we have synchronous rectifier circuit MP6922 that controls the first turn off switching and this IC will switch these MOSFETs and we will find rectified voltage because this configuration this controlled rectification is used for a regulated voltage in the secondary section so it will regulate the output in the secondary section because in primary we regulated PFC voltage power factor correction so primary is regulated now the secondary voltage will be regulated by this IC MP6922 we discussed this in our first video and then we discussed PFC circuit if we receive 100 volt we will receive 141 volt at DC capacitor if we receive 240 volt at that time 339 will maintain but our PFC circuit will maintain 410 volt at this circuit then we have standby power supply unluckily this these power supplies don't have a circuit diagram so I draw circuit diagram for every section and I discuss in detail how it working then we have this is for standby section we apply voltage and we take 4.8 volt 1.5 ampere in the in the output first of all I will make connections Friends, if you don't have a good practical experience in power electronics, never try to repair because this circuit have dangerous voltage. Instead of making jumpers and tweezers, I will connect a switch. So we will connect 5 volt SB and ADC standby. I will use series lamp to apply power. In normal power on condition when we apply 220 volt because I am applying 240 volt at input so I am receiving 340 volt DC 
at this bulk capacitor but when I will turn on this switch so this PFC circuit will start this PFC circuit will start and at that time we will receive 411 volt at PFC circuit so our PFC circuit is started now so that's reason we are taking voltage at this capacitor and now I am taking 11.86 volt at output conductor so let's discuss the circuit how it is working normally this circuit is using DDA001 IC this IC have totally it have 16 pin pin number 13 that is blank not connected that is spare pin for index so here we have CF RF start CSS output control inverting input non inverting input and enable pin these are this is the control section and for frequency setting soft start capacitor soft start RTCT RF minimum here we have output section HVG high voltage gate so one gate and LVG it have two outputs LVG and HVG these two LVG and HVG these two pins drive the MOSFETs in push pull condition so here we have secondary transformer and we take output voltage and if we see another reference circuit because this this circuit does not have any circuit diagram for it so here the same we have CSS soft start capacitor RTCT RF minimum operation operational amplifier output so it is feedback network it takes feedback and here we have LVG and HVG high voltage and low voltage gate so these two drives will drive these uh, MOSFETs and we will take output physically I will attach these diagrams for uh, reference these are not exactly for the same power supply but this IC it have exactly the same configuration here and now we will see how it is working first of all at this point we have capacitor this capacitor here we have PFC circuit PFC coil here and this coil is connected to this diode and diode output is here output is connected through this resistor most of the time this series resistor is disconnected if this disconnect this is disconnected so our power supply will dead it will not work at all at all in that condition we have to check this resistor so we will find these voltage at this capacitor after that these voltage are passed from this point to this point negative voltage are connected at this point and positive is connected to the second MOSFET so these two MOSFET will switch turn by turn to this transformer from here we will take drive to this uh, section so this gate is connected to uh, this IC pin number 15 and pin number 11 when we turn on it receives a power on command for this PFC so PFC will start work it will maintain the voltage when it will maintain the voltage and we will sense the voltage from this pin from these resistors one two three resistors VCC voltage at pin number 12 so we will receive 15 volt VCC and this 15 volt VCC is applied through this standby section and we have this capacitor here for 15 volt so this 16 volt from this capacitor these voltage are applied here we have one and two optocouplers to switch the voltage from this transistor here we have transistor this transistor will switch and we will receive voltage here this voltage 15 volt will switch through transistor and we will receive VCC voltage after passing this this diode here and here we have one two three these resistors and these resistors are to check the voltage this 400 volt are also applied to this voltage divider this voltage divider network and it will drop approximately 371 volt to ensure that VC, uh, PFC voltage are available if this voltage will drop so at that, that time this IC will turn off then we have here 
this MP6922. So this IC is used in output secondary side. From center tape winding, it have one MOSFET here, second MOSFET is here. VSS voltage it will take from the output section and here it have drive VG1, gate voltage number 1 and VG2. It will drive the two gates, this MOSFET here VG1, VG2 and it will sense the input voltage from this point and from this point 1 and 2 it will sense the voltage how much voltage are in coming in and it will sense 2 and sense 1 how much voltage we need in the output it is programmed from this resistor so it will monitor the DC voltage and it will check the sense pin and it will check the input so it will control this MOSFET so MOSFET will switch and we will take rectified voltage V out center tape is V out and we will take the rectified voltage at this point it is used in resonant converters for synchronous rectification this MOSFET and this MOSFET are connected together and this point is our common point it, this filter and after filter we have this output capacitor I hope so this video is informative if it is informative give a thumb up and if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it and if you want to watch my future videos press the like button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh